Assalamu alaikum dear friends uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, here i will solve the problem related to a uh, sieve analysis uh, in the given data you can see that there are some sieves given according to us standard and that is sieve number 4 10 20 40 60 100 and 200 and their respective openings are also given so here you can see uh, the list is given in the opening column uh, the data that is the mass that is retained on each sieve is also given in the mass retained on each sieve column uh, so i will calculate the cumulative mass for each sieve as well as the percent final for this purpose i need to add uh, some calculation as well as uh, here you can see the data here is empty uh, so i will click the same uh, mass which is retained in the column of mass retained so i will click here zero because there is no cumulative mass retained on the sieve number 4 so I will click 0 in this one that is in my sieve number 10 I will click equal to the mass retained on 4 whatever it is either it is 0 or whatever it may be so I will click 0 and click plus and this one so here you can see that both of the columns that is 0 and uh, both of the cells 0 and 21.6 gram have been added. Now I will drag this and you can see that all the data is calculated for each sieve. Similarly, I want to find the percent final for each sieve so I will click here equal to and uh, for the percent finer I have a formula here that is total mass which here you can see 450 minus cumulative mass retained on each sieve that is the masses retained on each use like here you can see 262.8 is uh, re retained on 60 so up to 60 so I will click here uh, the data of each sieve clicking here the shift 4 and 450 that is total mass so I will click 450 sorry for like this one and click shift 4 now I want to add here shift 4 and click the row of the selected cell so the row of the selected cell is 12 so I will click 12 now it it will remain constant for each of these calculation uh, adding again uh, some data so here you can see that is minus I will click minus and cumulative mass retained on each sieve so this one is the cell which is needed and I will enclose this one in brackets divide by total mass so i will click divide total mass which is 450 and i will multiply with 100 so uh, multiply by 100 here you can see that 100 values 100 value has been acquired from this calculation so the c for the c number 4 uh, which you can see here that the, the masses have been passed from C number 4 so therefore the percent final value is 100 so it is 100% final
for the sieve number four i will drag it and you can see the different percentages passing from different sieves for the pen there will be zero value because in the pen you cannot say that the soil will pass now coming towards the graph for uh, this table i will click insert and after the insert i will click here the insert scatter xy or bubble chart so clicking this one and i will add this it uh, give me the result depending upon both these two f and g columns so i will delete both of them because i don't need any of them so clicking again i have deleted clicking right click and click select data now legend entries so here you can see add i will add you can name uh, anything but i will name here sieve analysis and the series x value so i want to add this one and for the y value it will be percent final so i i'm adding the y value here sorry i will click ok ok and now here click add select data add i will cancel it i will edit the first one and i will click the data for the y1 for the uh, this y c value so i will click this one and okay okay now you can see that the graph has been achieved but here are some uh, values that uh, which i want to uh, change like here from 0 to 120 percent so i don't need 120 so i will click 120 uh, uh, here and the maximum i will click 100 and uh, here now you can see that the values uh, are ranging from 0 to 100 i also do not need the okay coming towards labels trick numbers so i will i don't need these uh, decimal points so i will click here on the two and will uh, leave it like this one and click nothing sorry it didn't change I will click zero now you can see that the percentages are purely in whole numbers and there is no decimal point now I will add the titles to both of these uh, X or coordinate and Y coordinate so I'm coming here chart elements and I will click access titles this one is percent finer percent finer and the other one is particle style particle size which is in millimeter now you can see a little bit changes have been made uh, but I want to uh, display this data that is from 0 to 5 and on the logarithmic scale. So here I will come and click here the logarithmic scale as well as the values in reverse order. You can leave it in the same manner, but I want to change it to the reverse order. So I will click here. here you can see that the uh, percent final value came 
to the center so I will click again double click and come towards the labels in the labels you can see label position so here you will click high bring this one here and a little bit like this you can also add some of the ma minor grid lines like uh, here you can see add minor grid lines and uh, if you see that these are a little bit light lines so I want to make it dark so clicking format minor grid lines and change the color to black now these lines are dominant this is the required curve which we need for sieve analysis now coming towards the CU and CCA which is the uniformity coefficient and the other one is gradation coefficient so we need three values the first one is d10 the second one is d30 and the third one is d60 for gradation and uniformity coefficient so this one you can see the value uh, the parameter d10 which coincide with the particle size here is 0.09 the d10 value is 0.09 counting from this one 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 0 0.04 0 0.05 0 0.06 0 0.07 0 0.08 0 and the last one is 0 0.09 again for d30 you can see the value is 0.2 here 0.1 and the other one will be 0.2 and in the last there is for 60 the d60 value will be 0.4 so this one is 0.4 counting from this one 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0.4 achieving all these values that is d10 d30 and d60 we can calculate the value of uh, the the coefficient of uniformity here you can see that is 4.4 and the coefficient of gradation which is 0 0.036 so these were the required calculation uh, which we have made uh, in this video hope you got this video tutorial uh, thank you Allah Hafiz